and once we have that we should be able to project this through the first frame now so what we need to do to do that is just push tab and type project 3d and then if we just unplug the checkerboard here and plug that into the project 3d and now we need to project that first frame so to do that we'll just plug that in there and now we need to copy the camera but on the first frame so this is the frame we painted on the easiest way to do this is just to double click on the camera and right click here on the translate and just click on no animation and same with the rotation so you're just removing any movement from the camera so now if we plug that in now once that goes through the scanline renderer we should have the card with that frame painted on it and it will be projected through the moving camera so if we play that you can see how that patch is now moving where that card is in the 3D depth plane so it's moving the right way according to the seam okay so what we want to do now is just change the card just move some of it around a bit because we don't need it all you know right for that whole area so what I'm going to do is just play with the scale of the card and you can also move it on these tangent handles but be careful not to move it in the Z depth or to change in its depth plane and then the movement will obviously be different so I'm just going to tweak these around okay so now we're projecting this portion only through the camera so if we now go to the scan and renderer and because I used lens distortion I need to make sure I redistort it again so after the scan and renderer I'll plug the lens distortion in and make sure I'm distorting and not undistorting again so once we merge that back over the footage and we now play that should move along correctly in that plane the only difference is now we can have a problem with these corners here so what we have to do is just rotoscope back any objects that are going in front of it so the way I'm going to do that is just create a tracker plug that in to the footage look through the tracker and I'm literally just going to track this area here So let's just track backwards. Okay, and we'll track forwards again from this spot that we started at. So what I'm going to do now is push O to bring up a rotor node, and then I'm going to create a new folder and then click on the transform tab and then click on the transform tab of the tracker and then shift drag the translate to the translate and the center to the center and then I can close down the tracker and then I can now create some rotor I'm just going to do this very quick this isn't a roto tutorial so I'm just going to do this very quick because it's only this sort of area up here that we need to put this on top of anyway so now you can see that tracks along and you can just go in every now and again every sort of fra a few frames that you need to and just make some refinements and like I said it's only at the top that we need to focus on so I'm just gonna use that and then move on for now but you can come in and refine it as you need to okay so what you want to do now is just take your rotor here and as you can see this comes down from the main footage so I'm going to do is push K to create a copy node and I'm just going to copy the rotor's alpha channel from its the rotor we've just done and put that in there so if you look at the footage there we now have an alpha channel and if you now pre-multiply this 
you get that bit there. So what we're doing is taking the footage, we're then putting that section on top, and then what we're going to do is put this portion back on top again. So if we place a merge node here, put the A pipe into that pre-multiplication, and put that on top, you can see now how that goes back on top. So what you can also do just to make it look a bit better is put a blur node and just blur the alpha channel of the rotor just till it sits in a bit better. And now if we play this, if I just go to the bottom, it should track along nicely and work. But what we will need to do is put the noise back in because if I push the blue channel where the noise is always the most apparent, you can see how he has now no noise here because we're using a still frame that was denoised. So just to fix that, I'm going to, I'm just, I'm just going to grab some grain that I created earlier. And generally what you want to do with any kind of grain nodes is go through all the color channels and just tweak it till it matches. So in this case it could probably be a bit stronger. And just keep playing with the settings until it matches. So you just want to match the size and shape and intensity of it. You can obviously see when you go too far. But I'm going to call that fine for now. And if we now look at it, I'll just let that cache. Okay, now you can see now that it's cached that it's tracked nicely on there. We've fixed the problem with um, the tape. There's just a small little problem here, which we can fix by just adding some more rotor to bring that wall in. And um, yeah, overall, that's just a quick technique to show you how to do it. You will need to spend a lot more time though with your cleanup part of the job. But once this is done, you should have a really nice fix for your onset problems using the camera projection technique. Thanks guys for watching and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on the Facebook page and on Twitter as well. We'll catch you next time.